Well, I'm not fired, at least not yet, but I have started implementing AI agents now as my employers. I have an early version 1.0 of this I wanted to show you today. The AI agents is now always working on creating good ideas for my media company from fresh live data from my YouTube channel and Google News. When the agents now agree on a good idea, they will send me an email straight away with a summary of that. They will leave an image of the thumbnail ID and they will also include some hot AI news. I also have in the works of version 1.1 of this I also wanted to show you. So let's just get started. I want to start off by explaining this system. So I have created this flow chart here. It looks a bit messy, but I think I can explain it pretty clear. So in the bottom left here, here is where we start. So this collector.py is the first thing that gets triggered when we run the script. This goes out to kind of two branches. So one of the branches goes to Google and searches for AI news. The other one is connected to my YouTube channel uh, via the API. And that gathers in all the information about my last 15 videos. That's going to be titles, description, likes, comments, views and other stuff. And both of the information from those branches are then fed to ChatGPT. That writes a summary of these kind of unstructured data. So the summary is in a more conversational form. This text file is then fed to my ChatGPT agents that I have called AI Chris 69 and AI Chris 420. They get a trigger message here that starts a discussion or a simulation between those two agents that is going to, of course, talk about this summary here. And the goal of that is to create a winning thumbnail video idea for week two in May 2023. They usually just talk amongst themselves, toss ideas back and forward, and at the end they kind of agree on one ID. Then we again here divides into two branches, because one of those ID is to create a YouTube thumbnail ID. So when they agree on that, that triggers another message that sends uh, a signal to the Stable Diffusion API that creates an image of that ID. On the other side here, we create a summary of the ID and a summary of the AI news. And all of those are then sent as an email to me with an attachment of the YouTube thumbnail ID. And that is basically it, what I have for version 1.0 now. Uh, I got other plans that I'm going to show you later. But an important part of this is of course the system prompts and that is what we're going to take a look at next. Before we look at the system prompt, I just wanted to show you a few things here in the main Python hub. So you can see we have our two agents, AI Chris 420, we have AI Chris 69. The trigger message is, hello AI Chris 69, I'm AI Chris 420. I will be starting my assignment from our overlord human Chris now. And that is what sets the whole thing off, right? And we go into a loop here, uh, we're not gonna go through that, I'll probably do that in my membership. But let's head over to the system prompt so you can see your name is AI Chris 69. You are a strategist at the company all about AI. You are an expert in digital marketing and YouTube strategy. Your task is to make data driven decisions to improve the company together with AI Chris 420. You will always converse in this structure. Your task is to be very critical of AI Chris 420's ideas and try to improve them as much as possible. Don't agree too easy, brainstorm and discuss, complete the assignment in the correct order. And then we have the assignment, so we have order one. Look at the channel data and info on the latest news. That seems stupid, right? Because we don't have anything here, right? But when the script runs, this is gonna append a lot of information down here. So you don't see it now, but when they run the script, they actually can't see it. And then we come up with a winning YouTube idea for week 2 in May in 2023. Create a title, script outline and thumbnail ID. Send the email to our overlord human Chris. Send an email with summary of the latest AI news. And that is basically it. Uh, there's a lot of iterations we can do with this system prompt. But basically this is what drives the script. So this is the most important part. Of course we need the script to work but this is what really differentiates it to being good or bad. So there's probably a lot of good work we can do with this still. Uh, but yeah, let's just head over and run the scripts, do a few tests and see what kind of ideas 
we can get. Before we run the test, I just wanted to quickly plug my YouTube membership where I have over 45 members only videos now and we have a community GitHub where I share my scripts. Just wanted to let you know that. Check out the link in the description below. Now let's run the tests. Okay, so I have started the script now on the terminal. Let the, just this run out and then we're gonna go through and see what happened. Okay, so now they have actually agreed on a good idea. So let's just scroll all the way up here and see how this went. So you can see on the top here, it started with looking at my YouTube stats. It summarized AI news headlines and saved that to a text file. It rewrite the content and save that to YouTube stats. So we have two different text files that goes into it. So the trigger message is uh, I'll be starting my assignment from our overlord human Chris now. So we get the response here. Great to meet you. Let's work together co to complete the assignment from our overlord human Chris. <laughs> okay. And it starts off with let's analyze the data and come up with a winning YouTube idea. Yeah, that's good. And here we get the first response. So based on the YouTube channel's data and latest AI news, I noticed a video re related to autonomous AI agents, prompt engineering and practical applications of AI in everyday life has been gaining traction. How about we create a video that showcases the use of AI to pro improve personal productivity? Uh, I agree with your critique. Let's create a video who, okay. So they kind of agree on that. Let's create a video that demonstrates how to build an AI-powered personal finance assistant using autonomous AI agents and GPT-4 prompt engineering techniques. We can showcase the process of creating this assistant step-by-step step and discussing its potential benefits and limitations. Okay, so that's interesting. And then we get this. So now we have winning YouTube idea. Let's create a title, script outline, and thumbnail idea. Okay, good. So the title is gonna be create our you create your own AI-powered personal finance assistant using GPT-4 and autonomous AI agents. Yeah, that's a good title. I think so. So we have the script outline. We have an introduction. Discuss GPT-4 and autonomous AI agents. We have a step-by-step -step guide how to build your the AI-powered personal finance assistant. And we got some other topics here, so what we're going to talk about. We want to showcase the finance assistants in action. So these are good good ideas. I think this is not a joke. It's kind of a good idea, actually. If I could feed in more data, we can even get better ideas. So, discuss the benefits and limitations, and we're gonna do a conclusion, so recap of the content, and encourage viewers to experiment with the techniques shown. It's <laughs> it's quite good, to be honest. And here you can see the terminal ID is using the generate image function to create a terminal ID. We're gonna take a look at that in a minute. And here, uh, with our winning video IT type of description to get ready, we can let's send a mail to our overlord human Chris summarizing this information. So we get a subject line, dear overlord human Chris. We have come up with a winning YouTube idea, so that is the email. And yeah, and now we have sent a winning YouTube idea. Let's send another email providing the latest AI news. So here we can take a look at uh, some news. The White House announces new initiative to reduce the risk of AI and urgent, urged major tech companies to take responsibility, okay? Researchers successfully transferred brain activity into words using LLMs. Microsoft launched its AI-powered version of Bing search engine, offering more personal experience. Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI, quit his position at Google and expressed concern about the potential uncontrollable and destructive nature of AI. The Biden administration announces measures to address challenges associated with AI. Yeah, these are some good structured news we get to our email. And I love that they do. Best regards, AI Chris420, AI Chris69. And we have successfully completed our assignment by sending, yeah, perfect. So let's take a look at those two emails now. Okay, so here is the first email I got. So you can see the subject is winning YouTube ID for week two in May 2023. 
Dear Overlord Human Chris, we have come up with a winning YouTube video idea for week 2 in 2023 based on information from the YouTube channel data and the latest AI news. The title, yeah, we talked about that. In this video, we will guide the viewers through the process of building their own AI-powered personal finance assistant using GPT-4 prompt engineering techniques and autonomous AI agents. We will showcase the step-by-step -step development process, demonstrate its features and capabilities, and discuss the benefits and limitations of using AI in personal finance management. So we got a thing of the script outline here. We got the thumbnail idea, a laptop displaying a personal finance dashboard with an AI bot assisting. Okay. We believe this topic, we believe this video will be informative and engaging for our audience while addressing a unique and relevant topic in the field of AI. Best regards, AI Chris420 and AI Chris69. So we got the um, thumbnail idea here. That was not a good thumbnail idea. But you get the point, it's quite funny. So let's take a look at the AI news email. This is basically the same structure, so here's the summary of the latest developments in the field of AI. So we get a summary of the news, Microsoft, researchers, the White House. Uh, these developments highlight the rapid advancements in AI tech and emphasize the importance of responsible and ethical development to ensure its positive impact on the society. Best regards, AI Chris, AI Chris. So yeah. I would like to get this email. It's quite good actually. It's seven short but concise and interesting facts uh, about interesting AI news. So yeah, ha very happy how this turned out actually. Just for fun, I wanna do run one more test and see if we get something completely different. So yeah, let's just run that and take a quick look. Okay, so let's take a look at the second idea my AI agent employees come up with here. So the title for the video ID is going to be AI in creative writing GPT 4s impact on script writing and storytelling. Wow, that's perfect. That is right up there. That's very in the demand now with uh, that strike going on for script writers in LA. So we have a script outline introduction to LLMs like GPT 4 applications of GPT 4 in script writing and storytelling. Examples, yeah. I've done videos like this before. Maybe it saw it on my um, my list of videos. That could be it. Because I have one video there with a few views, so maybe I picked up on that. And it goes on to iterate a bit on that. Uh, the terminal idea is a split screen image showing a robot holding a pen on one side and an author holding a pen on the other side. We're gonna take a look at that soon. So, yeah, it goes ahead, sends the mail, perfect, that's what I want. Sends the mail on some uh, AI news, yes, perfect. Best regard, AI Chris 69 and AI Chris 420. So, let's take a look at some uh, uh, thumbnail ideas. Okay, so here was the first thumbnail idea. You can see there was a robot here with a pen split screen, right? That was, <laughs> that was weird. It's but the point is to get the idea right. You're not supposed to use this as the thumbnail, but it's an idea. So this could be me holding a pen and I have a robot on this side there. So I think it's pretty creative. So that was quite fun. Yeah, I think that this shows that this has some potential. And it's really fun to see what kind of ideas this could, could bring up. But let's just imagine when I could put even more valuable data into this. So... Could I add more of these agents into my work? Could I use it in other places? I'm really excited to see what the, the, um, the implications will be on this when I start, start to add data about my earnings, some financial. I can maybe create a couple of financial agents that can look at the finances. So there's a lot of exploring to do here. So it's going to be very exciting, to be honest. I also wanted to show you my plans I have to develop this further. So these are the version notes I have for version 1.1 so far. And the first one is an Azure function with an autonomous daily AI news update. So basically this is just to create a function in Azure that runs these scripts automatically, let's say once or twice per day. Uh, and it's gonna send those AI news updates to my email. Uh, I also had some idea, maybe this could be like an email list, newsletter that I can send to other people too. Uh, we'll see about that. 
Uh, I'm gonna gather more valuable data from my YouTube channel because I need to I need to get a special API to get my earnings, watch time, CPN, and other more business related stuff from my YouTube channel, not just views and stuff. So I'm gonna wait, I think it takes like four weeks to get that API. So that is on the plan. I'm gonna start gathering some data maybe from my website. So page views, popular articles, some earnings maybe we'll see. And I have looked into how I can gather more AI trends. Maybe I can go to Reddit, Twitter or other places. We're gonna see about that. And I'm gonna work more on iterating the system prompts. And I got some other ideas. So basically, that's my plan to develop this further. So maybe I'll come back with a version 1.1. We just have to wait and see. I thought I just that would be interesting to see what kind of ideas I have from now. If you have any more ideas for me, please let me know in the comments. So here you can see a poll I did on my channel. Uh, it's a few weeks ago now. So do you believe autonomous AI agents will be hired as employees in the near future? Almost 2000 votes. 50% say yes, definitely. And that was kind of my inspiration for this video. I wanted to try to make some employees or AI agents to be kind of my employees. And yeah, I'm pretty happy. I think they have given me some good ideas. And I like the idea getting a mail from them. And when I put them out so they run on a daily reminder or daily trigger function. I can get some information each day about AI news and other YouTube video ideas. I'm gonna continue to getting more trends. And there's a lot of things I can do with it. Uh, I'm gonna maybe start to send out some more mails on this. So definitely after trying this now, I can see really why 50% say yes, definitely. 30% say maybe. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped about this actually. So. Expect more videos on this, uh, like I just show you in the version 1.1. I'm gonna try to implement all of that. And yeah, if you have any, what do you think in the comments? Uh, any ideas? That would be perfect to leave that. And don't forget to check out my membership if you want to try this for yourself. If you made it all the way here, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.